Where do we want to go from here, though? Because if we're not going for religion, it doesn't really matter to go for theology. Although philosophy is still a very good tech, that's definitely definitely true. Um, hmm. Great Lighthouse is distinctly average. Could go for civil service, though. And I'd only need three techs in a row for that. Could just go for guilds, frankly. Uh, hmm. How many techs is it before education? So education will be the sixth tech. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll go for civil service. Because if we're not going to have access to iron off the bat, there's really no point going that route. And by going to civil service, I can open up a lot of options. And we want to get to education as quickly as we can, really. I don't want to attack Darius immediately. He'll be too difficult to take on. His unique unit, the Immortal, is an early game unit. So I don't want to take him on right this second right now. I want to take him on when... Unfortunately, Portugal doesn't have a unique land unit. But um, the Middle Age might be better once we get possibly trebuchets. Because catapults are just disgustingly bad. That's the one thing that I had to look about in Assyria. Their unique unit is a replacement for the catapult. And I feel kind of bad uh, as a consequence. Because there are some things you don't want. And a unique unit replacement for the catapult is right up there. So if you play as Korea, unique unit is the Hoacha. Which is a replacement for the trebuchet. And it's actually really quite handy. It's about as good as a cannon, in fact, for taking out infantry. Uh, you know melee or archery or units like that. Not very good against cities, but in the mid game, Korea is very hard to break down because of their unique unit. Um, Rome's unique catapult isn't bad. The ballista. Just because it's, it's a catapult on steroids. There's no fancy effect to it. It's just a catapult that is stronger. And as a consequence, it it doesn't quite bridge the gap to make it useful, but it's not too horrible. I don't really like doing early game attacking. It's too much hard work. You lose a lot of units, generally speaking. It's very, very slow. It's very attritional. I'd rather wait until the Middle Ages where you can just kind of hopefully get a tech lead over the person you're attacking and just spam them as quickly as you can and kill them. Might take that encampment out just for the gold. There really is nothing down here of note. There's a lot of snow tile there, and it's just all rubbish. Even this tundra, there's not enough food tile around the tundra to make it viable. There's a deer in forest and a deer not in forest. The deer in forest is a good tile. The deer not in forest is very distinctly average. I'm hoping the scout doesn't steal my kill there. I just like to collect the gold. 75 gold this early in the game. Not bad at all. And when we improve that copper, our happiness will go up by 4, which will allow us to settle another city without suffering big happiness issues. I think we're going to switch to Petra now. I'm certain we'll have been the first people to get to currency, and that's enough turns um, invested to... Um, get some reasonable fail gold if we can't get back to it. Petra takes 45 turns, so we need to really crack on with that. Unfortunately, Petra gives a great engineer point. I don't like, like I said, mixing engineer and scientist points in the same city, but Porto doesn't need Petra. A third city wouldn't be able to build Petra quick enough to make it viable, so really it's the only place it can go. One hit kill. Didn't need to take that out, but it was better than it just pestering me. Looks like there was no barbs down there at all. So where that trireme came from is... The answer to that is probably an island off here somewhere that I can't see. And can't do anything Even about for that matter. And wandering birds. We've got trapping, which is kind of meh. Not very important to us. If we had um, horses, we could build the circus. 
we don't have that. We don't even have ivory. So I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm going to float up here just to check if there are any barbs. Um, 16 turn library, that's not too bad. At least we've got the incense. That's much better than that crappy forest on a hill tile that I was temporarily using in any way possible to get some um, production bonus going. I can't believe I got beaten to that salt though. Like, like I probably said in the past, it's probably worth plonking a citadel down if I get enough great generals just to get the salt. Unless I take out Darius, in which case I will have salt, because both of his cities have salt. Um, let's have a see now. Just had a thought. I'm probably going to have to build Machu Picchu. Yeah, with the third city. Because neither of my first two cities can actually build uh, Machu Picchu when we get to it. Although it gives you faith, which for me is going to be pointless. Um, it's something. We'll say yes to that. Just, um, I'm going to try and antagonise Darius down the line. So the more friends I can have within reason, the better. So I'm a bit paranoid that um, Greece is going to pull a Greece and just attack me out of nowhere. Become hostile and just attack. At the moment, he's neutral. When it was Gods and Kings, the expansion I was playing, I would probably say four out of five times Greece would start the game hostile towards me. But more recently, I've found that it's Egypt that's generally hostile against me. I don't know why. Obviously, it's partly based on random number generators. It's not all like that. The personalities are not completely random. They are based on inherent um, stats in the background. For example, that's why Gandhi likes to nuke people to death late in the game. Because his um, stat for using nukes is very high. And before you ask about that, it's a joke on behalf of um, Fire Axis. It's not because in real life Gandhi was a big fan of nukes, obviously. <laughs> um, might as well put a mine there, ready. Try and get the bonus from Petra. We're up to 18 hammers. That's better. Still not incredibly impressive, but at least it's something. Yep, we're friends with the Celts. I'm hoping that most people will like me. What it's looking like is that the bottom of the map will like me and the top of the map will be indifferent. Hmm. That's not really how I want it, but it's how it looks like it will be. Might try and take that in camp out for the gold as well. Um, is it worth going on to that tile with three food? Not right now. I'd much rather have hammers, but... It's good to know that I have that available if I need it, if and when I need it, because I'll need it at some point, inevitably. Might be worth now trying to connect um, the cities together. I only want to really do that, though, once two um, Crap, they got that iron. That's a disaster. I didn't think about that. I didn't think Antwerp would steal the iron off me at this point. Okay, I'm going to have no iron at all. And it looks like I don't even have any horses unless I settle up here. Oh, bugger. <laughs> ah, dear. Well, good job iron's not particularly important compared to what it could be if it was being historically accurate. It just means I won't be building any swords. It means I'll be building pikes instead. What I was saying, though, is that you don't really want to start building roads with one worker because each towel with a road on costs you one gold per turn until you get it finished, in which case you'll get a bonus from trade. But if you're building it one tile at a time, it's going to cost you a lot more than if you have two workers doing it at once. So that worker that's currently working on the copper, I'll start building roads with after it's finished. So if I'm not going to have access to that iron, I want to be quite quick before Antwerp ends up stealing that stone as well. Didn't think that would happen so early, but I should have thought about it, given Quebec nabbed that, that salt so quick off the bat. And it's four tiles away from it, so it can't use it as a tile in its own right. It can have the benefit of salt, but it can't use the tile. 
Which is a shame because salt produces a nice tile. The three food, two hammers, one gold is nice. Not broken by any stretch, but it's a very nice tile nonetheless. Right, let's have that built to here before we um, improve that other incense. Because the incense only gives us more gold, doesn't give us more hammers. Which would have been my preference. Or even more food wouldn't have been bad. Um, I'll try to return the favour when things are going better for me. That is a load of rubbish. I can't right now. Luckily you don't get a flag of your friends, but you refuse help to your friend. You don't get that negative modifier anymore by the looks of it. But certain AIs are more needy than others, and Hiawatha is right up there on neediness. Obviously when he's not spamming all his cities and hating you anyway. <laughs> Where did the Aztecs settle in there? Oh, was that the city they settled? Hmm, I wonder if Hiawatha will start getting angry at the Aztecs and want to attack him. Or more likely it'll be vice versa, I would have thought. Watch this space on that front. What's going on here? Oh, bad looks like they're just coincidentally near one another, I don't have to worry. Not being sneaked attacked by a Syria out of nowhere by the looks of it. Some more gold. We could really do with cranking out a third city. The question is now where, because I can't get the iron like I had planned, but it still might be worth putting the city where I said I would. At the same time, it might be better settling up here. The only reason I want to really settle where I said in the first place is because it would stop Darius getting too close. Whoa, hang on. What? Barbarian horsemen? That's new. I thought barbarians couldn't use limited resource tiles. Turns out they can now. That that definitely must be a change from the old expansion. Hopefully though it'll pester Quebec and not me. Or Pasig a day, that'd be nice if it'd try and get on Darius's nerves. I can see they're under attack, I can't do anything about it though. <laughs> I pillaged the salt. Funny. Yeah, there's nothing over here to worry about. I'll help them out. I'll fire on it. Hopefully it won't go towards me. I'll be very annoyed if it does. And I'll probably claim bullshit hacks. <laughs> Let's get a market up. If the river tiles aren't granting us gold anymore, we definitely want to go that route. Yeah, the horse has gone away from us, that's fine. Yeah, where we're putting a third city is a very interesting question. Hmm. Theoretically, I could put it on the floodplain between the sheep and the stone, but... Oh, are you joking me? Are you freaking joking me? Out of nowhere. That horse has come to ruin my day. Out of sodding nowhere. Which means temporarily I have to switch that to there. Actually, hang on. Do it like that. That way it'll switch back when it doesn't need to be there. Are you kidding me? If it comes over here and starts ruining my copper as well, I'm going to be absolutely fuming. If it attacks Porto, that's probably a good thing. <sighs> Game! <laughs> well, that's that hammer gone. Oh well. I suppose. Go and pillage some of Darius's stuff and leave me alone. What a wanker. 